Now, we know her for winning Strictly and for her award-winning documentaries, whether it's investigating drug cartels or coming face-to-face -face with an ISIS soldier. There is nothing Stacey Dooley can't yes. do. She's now making her West End debut as Jenny in the supernatural thriller 222, A Ghost Story, and she joins us now. Good morning. John, how are you? We're good. We've come dressed the same. We have. Oh my morning. gosh, you really have. We've... Have you also noticed all the boys are wearing purple ties today? Oh, fine. Yes. yes. I'll we'll get you one if you want. I'll get a tie when <laughs> I know, just to finish off the whole look. It's yes. so good to see you both. Hi. It's lovely to have you. Stacey Dooley, actor, West End Mate. actor. How does what? that feel? I, <laughs> I feel so delighted. I'm just so excited, do you know what I mean? And um, when the, we were sort of women and our in, and I loved the play. Like, I went to go and see it a couple of years ago with Kev, and I thought, God, this is so clever. And actually, the characters feel so familiar, but they're going through something really extraordinary. Da -da 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 -da. But I don't go to the theatre all the time, you know what I mean? It's not my world, necessarily. So, loved this. And then I know they were looking to cast um, for the run in London. And so, yeah, met the met the director, went through the lines, and they said, oh, we'd love you to do it, and I couldn't believe it. I'm so excited. This Saturday, <gasps> we open. And here you are. This is I'm you there. in rehearsal. <laughs> so, it, is it the first time you've had to do this sort of thing, like go to a rehearsal like this, learn lines, <laughs> learn staging, yeah. prompt? How has that gone? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bonkers, right? <laughs> I mean, I there's so much dialogue as well. Um, we're not really... There's only four of us, so we're not really ever off the stage. Um, but I've just thrown myself into it, and I, I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And it's like such a cliche, and it's a bit cringe. But actually, I think it's so healthy to just experience something entirely different. You know what I mean? Otherwise, life's always the same, so... But you've Let's always see how it done, goes. haven't you? Every documentary, <laughs> you throw yourself in. Strictly, you threw yourself yeah, in. Yeah, why not? You know, and, and the thing is, as well, you can sort of get into your head and think, oh, am I going to do a good job? All you can do is try your best, go for it, and hopefully people enjoy it. Um, oh, what a good philosophy for life. Yeah, really. it's a hugely successful play, and it's done so well. And I think they've always cast uh, in quite unexpected ways. They have, haven't they? Yeah, like the first, it was Lily Allen's role, yeah. really, and she just smashed it, and she was nominated for a, like, an Olivier Award, and then ever since then, I think Jenny particularly has always been... Um, it hasn't been as traditional, perhaps, as other plays. And the theatre world can be quite a snooty world. It can quite be. Quite a difficult world. You've got your critics there sitting there. They don't want to freak you out. Yeah. Sitting there making <laughs> their notes. Do, do, do you get nervous about that, or do you think, you know, I'm me, I'll do it my way? Well, I think you're right. I think there has always been an element of snobbery surrounding that world. Um, and that's why it's felt like um, certain sections of society they can't tap into. You know what I mean? It's a certain demographic. But I feel like this play, I liked it for that reason, actually. It, it doesn't feel too highbrow or too, um, you know, people aren't sat there with their arms folded saying, right, you know, impress me. It's an experience. And it is a ghost story, but it isn't like, woo, you know, it's not like it's, it makes you, it's quite thought provoking. So I'm not too, I'm not too fussed about the critics. And the thing is, it's so subjective. You know what I mean? You could do a brilliant job and someone might love it and someone else might think, oh, it's not for me at all. So. And what is it about this play in particular that makes it so flexible so that people can come in mm. and just take over a run themselves? I think it's because the set, it's just the one set. Right, so and it's in, it's in an open plan kitchen, and we've all been to those houses. You know, it's it's based in London, a gentrified part of London, where they've just had their kitchen done, and they're sort of showing off with the glossy doors and um, the conversation. A lot of it is very um, ordinary, and there are moments where something really surreal happens, but actually, then you're brought back quite quickly. Um, it's just brilliant. I mean, the writer, who actually I think was on Breakfast last week. Yes. Coincidentally, yeah, yeah, Danny yeah, Robbins. Yeah. He, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything about scripts, but, I mean, <laughs> it is, you know, it's it's a brilliant read. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank It'll you, be amazing. Come watch. I mean, do you think maybe you should be making a documentary about it? Do you know, behind While the While you're doing it. <laughs> It'd be so boring, though. All I'm doing is trying to sort of get my head around these lines, eating half a pack of biscuits and then texting every now and then to make sure the baby's OK. <laughs> There's not much else going on. But the cast are brilliant. Like, the three others are just a total, total joy. Um, and it's actually been brilliant because they're actors for me to kind of 
watch them in action. So And learn from them. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've been so generous, actually. They've been really, really generous. I mean, it's been fun. Everyone says, oh, you know, it's not always the case in rehearsal rooms, but I've loved it. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, I can feel your enthusiasm. Yes! Well, that's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, weekend yeah. break. While you're here, before we get to the news, I have to talk to you about Strictly. Giovanni's making a statement over the weekend right. saying... He rejects any suggestion of any threatening or abusive behaviour. I know you don't want to talk about that case, those allegations, but in I, I guess it shines a spotlight on the intensity of that Strictly world that you... Yeah, I mean, what, what I would say is I don't have a friendship with Giovanni. I, don't, I didn't even have a working relationship with Giovanni, so, and I haven't been in, involved with that show for years, so it would be probably irresponsible for me to comment on that. What I would say more broadly is I hope all of the women involved are OK. And I think, actually, it's, you know, separate from this. I, in my personal experience, I think it's a slippery slope not to believe women when they come forward and say certain things. But um, I just hope they're OK. okay. Awesome. Difficult time for the programme. I t yeah, do you know what? Honestly, me and Kev, we're so boring. We sit at home <laughs> on the sofa with a cup of tea. I mean, he's pals with a lot of the pros, but I just, yeah, I don't know enough about that incident to comment. You're not going to be spending much time on the sofa. No. no. Weeks ahead, no. are you? No, no, no. How long's the run for, then, in the West End? Uh, we're there for ten weeks. Wow. So we open on Saturday, weeks. and then we finish August 4th. Oh, busy busy. summer Loads ahead. Busy gal. She's yeah. a busy gal. Well, She's going to be fabulous. Good luck Thank with you. it. You always are. Great Thank to see you. you. Thank Thanks. you so Thank much. You Good luck. Me. Break a leg. No, I know. <laughs> Don't break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> Great, you got the dress code. I love it. I know. We look like we're off to a Great. wedding, John. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> no, don't. You stay. <laughs>